Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. Yesterday we had a brand new story on the Malign Portance website which was pretty cool. It actually went back to the Nurgle theme again. The last story we had was Grim Deliverance, which personally I think was fantastically written, and that was all about the hospital that had been set up to cure those infected with you guessed it, Nurgle's diseases. In fact, I think this actually means that Nurgle has literally been a recurring theme in every single story so far, aside from the exclusive one that was in White Dwarf. Now, the new story is all about, no surprises here, Nurgle again. This one is called The Hangman's Curse, and I'm going to summarise that story in a second. I just wanted to quickly comment on something else that I am picking up on in these stories. Alongside the Nurgle and Death theme, we are actually getting a lot of references to the Free Guild. So far, half the stories for Malign Portance have mentioned the Free Guild, and I'm really glad that Games Workshop is visiting this group to flesh them out more. The Empire were a cool faction in fantasy, and that more human aspect of fantasy has been missing from Age of Sigmar. I think it grounds the series more to have humans in there that we can just relate to a little bit more and appreciate how we as people would actually fit into a fantasy sort of narrative like this one. The Free Guild are becoming increasingly important in the lore with all of the new cities that are being built across the realms and they even released the, I think it was called the Warriors of the Great Cities box for Hammerhow which contained a lot of free guild figures. I think the free guild figures, as cool as they are, could really do with being updated. I would love to see a free guild relaunch, so let me know if you guys think that that's on the cards and if you would be interested in seeing that too. Right, so onto the story itself, The Hangman's Curse. The story follows Lord Slugus. Now, English is a pain in the backside. It has so many ways to pronounce the OU sound. So this guy's name could literally be Slaugus, Slugus, Slugus, or Slaugus. So I'm just going to stick with Slugus for now. Anyway, Lord Slugus is a Lord of Blights, which is one of our amazing new figures that have just been released with the new Demons of Nurgle launch. And they have one of the coolest backstories for all of Nurgle. You need a bit of context here to understand what on earth the guy is doing in the story and why he is doing it. And that information comes from the new battle tome. Basically, Lords of Blight will batter people to death with their hammers, and after the battle, they will go around collecting up all of the bodies that they deem less damaged and more suitable for their vile purposes. A Lord of Blights will then take all of his worthy bodies back to his stronghold where he has his corpse orchard. These morbid places are basically full of gallows with bodies hanging from them. So he basically harvests the bodies and hangs them from these so-called trees. Their heads, however, he fills with the pus of a great unclean one and seals it with a mixture of blood and wax. As you might expect, this pus is immeasurably toxic and he waits for the heads to ripen that is basically the point where the body of the corpse rots enough to drop away from the head he then collects up the ripe heads and throws them at people in battle as these kind of immensely gross corrosive and toxic grenades it's such a great and disgusting idea that is entirely fitting of nurgle now that i've got my great unclean one I really want to theme an army around including him with a Lord of Blights because I think they are very cool. Right, so now we have the context. Slugus has just fought a massive battle against an army of Free Guild and his Rotbringers are collecting up the best specimens to wheel away in wooden carts back to his lair. Nurgle the God is showing signs in the sky that he is pleased with Slugus's work. It basically starts to rain and that rain is foul and infused with the blessings of Nurgle that shower over Slugus and his rock bringers. So having been blessed by Nurgle, they collect up the bodies and they start the two-day journey back to his stronghold in the Leper's Wood. 
and this is a stronghold that he has held for decades, okay, so it's been around for a long time. He leaves all of his own dead on the battlefield so that their bodies can help spread the plagues of Nurgle, but he marches back with all of the bodies that he has harvested. On that march back, it seems that Slugus and his warband have pretty much swept aside all of the resistance in the area. The land is surrounded by the ruins of cities and fallen Dwarden statues, and all of these cities were taken over by Slugus quite a long time ago, to the point where now the pestilence of Nurgle has claimed them, and they're kind of just a cruel reflection of the places that they once were. As his warriors reach the top of Fester Crag and descend into the Valley of Biles below, they notice that something is wrong. Something entirely new to Slugus is bothering him, a feeling that he has never had before, his stronghold is shrouded in mist, so at this point he can't quite see what's going on, but he knows that something is wrong. When he gets a glimpse of his home, he is thrown into shock. All of the life has left the place. Being a place dedicated to Nurgle, it's usually teeming with life, but not anymore. Everything has left. The beasts the nurglings, everything is gone, even down to the last plague fly. The very trees themselves have even lost their nurgle-infused vitality. All of the plants have died, and they literally turn to like ash and dust, if they're touched. So at the centre of his stronghold, this is the place where he plants his trees and ripens his heads. The hangman's orchard is Lord Slugus's most important place. It's where he draws his power, and it's the unholy place where he carries out his malignant work in the name of Nurgle. But at the moment, his orchard and the surrounding area is just still shrouded in this very heavy magical mist. Out of the corner of his eyes, spectral shapes are darting and swirling through the mist. He thinks he keeps seeing all of these skulls and screaming faces, but they are literally gone before he can work out if he truly saw them or not. He gets angry and marches into the mist surrounding the orchard with his Blight Kings, and that is his huge mistake. The dead plants around them are crumbling into black sand, and the closer to his orchard he gets, the deeper the sand becomes, until it is literally waist high. Sluga steps too far from his Blight Kings and finds himself alone. The mists still have these horrible spectral shapes darting around him, and the power of death surrounding him now is so strong that he is totally detached from Nurgle. His god can neither see nor aid him, he is completely cut off. He reaches the gallows where he hangs all of his victims and realises with horror that the corpses are no longer quite dead. They're all writhing and clawing at their nooses, and it's a pretty creepy scene, with all of the corpses turning to look at him, trying to scream out words that don't quite materialise into proper speech. Slugus gets very angry, and he starts attacking the undead hanging from his gallows, and some of them break free and start attacking him. He tries to hold them off as best he can, but they keep coming back and he can't put them down for good. His warriors aren't answering his calls for aid, and as more corpses march towards him, we last see Slugus preparing to meet them with his hammer. The story ends with Grolgok, who is a new character and a servant of Slugus, and Grolgok has basically been wandering through the mists of the surrounding orchard. He actually stepped into the mist just behind his master, but for some reason, as he stepped into the mists behind Slugus, they were completely cut off from one another, likely by arcane means. He finally manages to find his way to the Hanging Gallows, and there he finds something that stops him in his tracks. The gallows are empty, the corpses are gone, all of them but one, which is a new corpse. From one tree that has warped into the shape of a skull, hangs Lord Slugus, his master, dead, with black sand streaming from his open jaw. So that was pretty much the story, and it was another great one. Personally, I think mostly because it adds so much to the character of the Lord of Blights, but it certainly is keeping this whole Death versus Nurgle theme running strong. 
Are there any hints in there about what is to come with Malign Importance? Uh, perhaps. I mean, it features zombies for a start. I would like to get some uh, great new kits of those in the game. As for the screaming faces in the mist and the skulls and all of that, it could be spirit hosts or banshees or something like that. Personally, I think they are there to represent the fact that the mist is magical that has been placed around the orchard, but they could well be specific models that may get released at some point. Who knows if that is wishful thinking. Then we've got the tree in the shape of the skull. I mean, we've seen Wildwoods for the Sylvaneth, and now we've got feculent Narmor trees for Nurgle. So having bits of scenery that are faction specific with rules attached to them seems to be a cool new direction for Games Workshop and we already know that we are getting re-released death scenery this year so perhaps we could be getting some kind of death tree. Who knows? The story also references sand a lot. The black sand is pretty much everywhere and I think basically people linking this sand with the Tomb Kings are probably barking up the wrong tree there. It would be great to have Tomb Kings totally rebooted and relaunched with all new models, but I don't have a clue if that would ever happen. I think it seems pretty final to discontinue a whole range, if you ask me. But anyway, that was the story. It was a nice quick one. There wasn't too much to say about it, but I did enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys soon with the next update.